just, it doesn't take e-science, it doesn't take, you know, any enlightened ecological being to know that this runs up against common sense. I think this process, this land conservation effort on the Gabriota Coast is very much value driven. You say you want to keep Gabriota Coast the way it is today, we do too, but we know there's all these development proposals out there. There's like 15 development proposals on the Gabriota Coast. But it runs up against the community needs or community standards that maybe it's obscene. Are there any story poles for this one over here on, on this ridge? There are not. Or you would see them. I can't understand why somebody feels the need for a 10,000 square foot house. I don't understand that. We all have everything to gain from an enlightened process, from a more progressive ideal in land use, from more, a from more integrated or sustainable approach to this place. Because I would envision the person that's going to own this 2,000 acres is going to have a very nice, extensive home on it. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. I mean, it could be that they're just, you know, evil folks who are just totally greedy, and they don't give a damn. They don't live here. The Gaviota, like I said, is perfect. I mean, look at it with the San Ynez Mountains right there, and then the foothills, and then all these creeks. One of the other concerns with the Naples development proposal um, is not just the fact that part of it will be developed, but how it will be developed. And a compromise, let's say, from 12,000 to 10,000 square foot, is that a victory? I like to ask a, a developer this. <clears throat> you have a land, you have a stretch of land, you're proposing homes. Imagine the bulldozer turning the still live, you know, coyote brush and uh, coastal sage and rabbits and, and snakes and reptiles. Imagine the churning of those still live plants and animals on your land when you grade it and when you develop it. Just imagine that subtle impact. Stand there if you want to build your you know, 13,000 square foot house on the bluff. Stand there and watch it happen. Feel it. Bring it in. Don't Stay in your hacienda in the hills. Get on the land and watch it happen. You're the one. Your motivation, your worldview, is why it's happening. You've played the political game. Now stand there and watch the land turn under. That's my only request for a developer. Don't be a passive observer. Drive the bulldozer. It's your land.